All right, what you say, what you say, it's your boy DJ Mo D here, what you say radio, and tonight, tonight we have a very, a very exclusive interview with soul blues singer, Mr. Rude Davis out of H-Town, that's right, H-Town, Houston, Texas is here with us for the first time ever right here on What You Say Radio, and I'm so glad, so glad to have you. Mr. Rude Davis, welcome to What You Say Radio. How you doing this evening, sir? All right. How y'all doing? Hello, my fans out there. Yes, yes, yes. Rude Davis is in the house. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Dave, uh, Mr. Davis, for, for uh, taking your time out, uh, your schedule, your day to drop by and talk to your fans, your listeners, to our listeners here at What You Say Radio. You got a lot of people that uh, really love you when I, I play your music. So you got a lot of supporters out there, and, and we really support you and your music and what you're doing out there. All right. All right. I appreciate it so much. Absolutely. And so I want, I want to get right into it. Uh, can you tell us a little bit, Mr. Davis, about when you started singing and at what age and when did you uh, really know that this is what you wanted to do? First thing, I got it started in church. I was about, about five years old. Okay. Five years old, then I came up uh, with, with a, group, a group called uh, Glory Got to Sing. The Glory Got to Singers. Okay. My mama was uh, was uh, not the leader, but she was the manager. Mm -hmm. I I was I was sung with a quartet. I just sang songs like Sam Cooke and Soul Stirs, all that. Oh wow. Wow. And how long how long were you were you singing in that uh in that group? My long time. We went to church to church. Okay. And so when when did when did when was it that you kind of uh branched out and kind of uh uh I guess went into to the blues? That was that was that you, where you crossed over into? Well, I, I I went into the blues back in the seventies. Okay. I started singing. I uh, listened to Johnny Taylor, Bobby Bland, and Sam Cooke. Uh huh. All them. Okay. So from that time on, from that time on, I started uh, get my mind together. I started listening to everybody. Joe Simon. Joe Simon, but the old school. Okay, Mr. Joe Simon, man, just passed away. R.I.P. Mr. Joe Simon, one of the one of the greatest uh, to ever do it, um, and that's why I kind of wanted uh, was going to lead into next. So, Mr. Joe Simon was one of your uh, influences. Uh, Johnny Taylor. Anybody else was your in influence? Bobby Blue Band. Bobby, Bobby Blue Band. Okay, Bobby Blue Band. All right. It's, uh, and uh, uh, Sam Cook and uh, Al Green. Uh huh. I got some minutes. I got to think right now. <laughs> I got some minutes. All right. Now, so what happened have... was, go ahead. No, go ahead on. No, go ahead. You go ahead. The floor what happened was, uh, when I was a boy, I listened to everybody when I was young mm -hmm. on the radio. Yes, so what I did, I put my own self into they sell. So I started singing like everybody. Change voices. Right now, when I record, I change voices right now. That's my trademark. I'm glad you, I'm glad, Mr. Davis, I'm glad you mentioned that because that kind of segue into one of my questions. And that's, uh, you got a gift of being able to sing like the cover songs of, of songs like for Johnny Taylor, Tyrone Davis, uh, Bobby Blue Bland. But not only do you have, uh, uh, not only are, are you able to sing them, but you are able to pull it off. Like you do an excellent job uh, of singing those songs. So How did that come about? Well, it is. I got my set into that when I was young. 
Uh-huh. I listened to the voice. I listened to the voice. And then started writing a song from there. Okay. I write a song from my, my imagination. Yes. You no. Know, so, like when I, when I hear Rick, uh, Bobby Bland, uh, singing like Bobby Bland, my Lord, something like that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cause man, that that that's that's like a gift because a lot of people can do cover songs and they don't they don't I mean they do all right, but they don't come close to sounding like the song. But you, man, you you can do it just as good as the original artist, you know. I could be I could be anybody I want to be. Yes, that, that's a gift. That is a gift. When I write a song like Air Green, so I read it in my mind. I started writing songs, trying to change like Al Green. Right. Matter of fact, I got songs on YouTube trying to like Al Green. Oh, that wow. I wrote. Wow. Could you, could, could you, uh, you did I Believe in You, uh, Johnny Taylor. Could you give us a little bit of that? One thing I can say to be world of day. To you, will good thing won't take you away. I believe in you. Yeah. All right, all right. Yeah, all right. Man, what about some Al Green? Give me, give me some Al Green. And your head on my pillow. Oh, you are close to mine. Yeah. Man, y'all hear it right here. Mr. Rude Davis right here on What You Say Radio. Anybody? Watch it right here. Watch this. Five years. Yeah. The call is coming Monday. Susie just is bad. The call is coming Monday. When's it worry? This is all so sad, my lord. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> what you was Bobby Bland right there. Bobby yeah. Blue Bland. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> who, else right. you, who else you love? You, you on the road. Who else? Who else you got? She was on a thick team. Only 16. I love her so old. She was so young. Fall in love. I was too young to know. Sam Cook. Sam Cook right there. Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, Come on. You gave us Sam Cook. You gave us Bobby Blue Band, Johnny, Johnny Taylor, Al Green. Can you do Tyrone Davis? Every time the door get rain, let me know. See, I've come home. I can't help myself. Yeah. <laughs> there it All is. Right. You know. Man, you just got it right here on What You Say Radio. Mr. Rude Davis giving it to us, y'all. Giving it to us. Giving us some Tyrone Davis, Johnny Taylor, Al Green, Sam Cook, Bobby Blue Bland. Man, your gift. I appreciate you sharing that with us, Mr. Uh, Rude Davis. Appreciate that. Um, now, let me ask you this. Did you, did you ever have a chance to perform with any of those uh, of your favorite artists? No, I met Bobby Bland back in the days. Okay. Downtown at the Astrodome. Okay. I wrote a song called Blue Jay at Midnight. Uh huh. Bobby Bland. Oh, wow. So, yeah, I met, Bobby told me, he said, uh, I said, Mr. Mr. Bland, how do I get started? He said, uh, make a record. So, what I, what I did, I recorded a 45. Yeah. Okay. Okay, that's what's up. Now, how did I want to talk about somebody, uh, a good friend of yours uh, by the name of uh, the Texas Prince of Zydeco down there in H Town with you, Mr. Uh, Jabo. How'd you and uh, Jabo link up? Okay, I was young then, back in the day, back in my 20s. So we got together one day. I was in my my mom's house. Mm -hmm. So he stayed around the corner. So I went to his house one day. And after that, he was playing Bobby Bland. Mm -hmm. So I started singing. I heard Bobby Bland. So I tried to imitate Bobby Bland. But what happened, I did it. From that time on, I started singing like D.D. Hill. Everybody. Good mm -hmm. friend of mine. The Texas Prince. Go, go back a long way. Wow. 
Uh, he introduced me to uh, Kevin Owens, many more people. Okay. Oh wow. So 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 he kind of helped you in the in the music industry. He was right there. Yeah, he really was. That's what's up. And you and you guys have done you got and you and you you and him have kind of worked uh, along side to side, kind of toured a little bit. I wrote, I wrote some songs for him. Okay, long time ago. Okay, it didn't hurt me. There was one song I did. Which one was that? It didn't hurt you. You didn't hurt me. Okay, I got that All right. I got that one in choice. I love that one. I mean, we did another song called "Woman, Woman in Each Love." Okay. Yeah, and uh, I've done quite a few songs with him. All right. He bad. He bad guy. He can sing real good. Okay. Have you done a Have you done a lot of writing over your your career, or? I've been writing ever since 1995, but I started writing when I was young. Back in the 70s. 70s. Have you written for uh, any other artists other than Jabo? Well, I wrote for uh, uh, Glenda, uh, Linda, Linda Harris, Jenda Harris. Jenda Harris, all right. Floyd Taylor, Floyd Taylor. Floyd Taylor, all right. Shelly Brown, Tyrone Davis, Lil Milson. Okay. Wow. Now, and Carl, Carl Sims. Uh, Carl Sims? Yes, sir. All right. Another I wrote about five songs on Carl, Carl Sims. Okay. Um, well, can, you, can you name any for Carl Sims? I'm going to tell my woman and my wife. Okay. Number one. I did another call. Uh, I can't think right now. That was one I did. Okay. I did five songs on him. Okay. You, did you do 17 Days of Loving or no? No, no, sir. Oh, okay. No, sir, I didn't do that one. That, that, was, a, that was a real popular one. I, I play on What You Say Radio a lot. Uh, all right. Uh, no, what, okay. What do you got going on? You got anything going on in 2022 there, Mr. Davis? I got a new album coming out uh, in a few days. Months. Huh? Three months. In a few months. Few months. Okay. Yeah, it's called, it's called uh, Rue Davis at, at his best. Rue Davis at his best. Okay. Yes, uh, and what can we expect on that uh, album? Can you can you give us a little sneak peek? What can we expect? Pretty much the same thing. Uh, I got my voices going on. Okay. Swing out. I got my buttons going on, and uh, I got brand new music. All right. All right. And this will be album number what for you? Oh, man, I got to think, because I, I done done so many things. <laughs> I hear you. I'm putting, I'm putting you on. I know I'm putting you on the spot. <laughs> oh, that's all right. Thank you. That's all right. Yes, sir. It's all good. Now we now we do something. We, I started something new here, Mr. Davis. Uh, when I do my interviews before we before we get out of here, um, it, it's a little game. Uh, I'm going to give you three words, all right? And uh, when I give you each word, I just want you to let me know what comes to your mind, uh, your thoughts when I give you the word, all right? Yes, sir. All right. First word is coronavirus. Oh, okay. Coronavirus. Uh, bad. bad. Something bad going on in hell. Uh huh. Something can't you see. Okay. All right. My second one is the blues. The blues is like a uh, feeling. Some of you here, you went through. 
go, we had the blues. Okay. And my last one for you is the music industry. All types of music. Hip hop, rap, blues, Southern Soul. What you say, what you say. All right, all right. Mr. Davis, how can all right. how can the fan, how can your fans, your listeners, your supporters, how can they follow Mr. Rue Davis? On YouTube, Spotify. Uh, YouTube, Spotify. Okay. Facebook. All right. All right. YouTube, Spotify, Facebook. Are you on Instagram and Twitter or no? Instagram. Instagram. All right. There you go. Follow them. There. Make sure y'all follow Rue Davis, Instagram, uh, YouTube. Spotify, Facebook, those are the places you can follow Mr. Rue Davis. Mr. Rue Davis, I want to thank you for coming on What You Say Radio, taking your time out to share uh, a little bit about yourself. Uh, first time here on What You Say Radio. I hope you come back in the future and uh, talk about that new album that you're going to drop here later on this year. You're welcome back anytime. Uh, the floor is yours. Do you got anything to say before you go? Anybody want to get in touch with, my, uh, with me by booking? You can call my manager. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> there, there, there it is. And what we'll do, we'll, we'll post uh, your manager's name and your, uh, her information. We'll have that uh, posted at the end of this uh, interview as well. Thank you so much. All right. All right. There it is, y'all. Y'all have the exclusive interview with the one and only. Mr. Rue Davis, the man of many voices. Thank you so much. Thank you. I love y'all. Everybody. What you say, what you say, right here on What You Say Radio. Mr. Right. Rue Davis. Thank you, DJ Moe.